Hey y'all and welcome to Monarch's Market and welcome to my hopping into Easter video. I have three Easter DIYs for you today and I love all three of them and I am going to jump right in to the first one DIY number one. Look at this cute tag sign. The tag itself I got from the Dollar Tree and it had this cute little bunny with the cotton tail on one side and did some bunny say Easter on the other side. And I thought that was just so sweet. I am going to keep it reversible. Now I'm gonna take that twine off, but I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna reuse it on this sign. I'm gonna remove that little cotton tail and I'm gonna save that for something different. But I'm going in with my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to give my sign just one really good coat. Now, believe it or not, it only took one coat to cover up that bunny which was kind of surprising because it was such a dark pink. I really didn't think it was going to cover with just one coat, but it did. So once I got it painted really good, I set it aside and I let it dry. And then I pulled out this gorgeous Cottontail Market Transfer. It is humongous, humongous. It says, every bunny welcome, which I think is so cute. And it actually, on the other side, it says, did some bunny say Easter? So, I, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Even though I'm not using that part on the tag, I just thought it was kind of cute that they went together. So, I fuzzed it. I slid my tag up under there. And I went to chalking him on. But, doggone it, I got him a little bit too far to the left. But, it's okay. It turned out all right in the end. And... It is what it is. So I used my bark chalk paste, which is a real pretty dark brown. And I chalked just a bunny on, like I said. But I want you to look at how cute this little Peter Cottontail turns out. Watch this. Y'all, look at that. Isn't he precious? I love it. Now, this is a second transfer. Now, this transfer comes with two transfers on one sheet, and I'm going to show you that in DIY number three. But it says, P. Rabbit and Company Farms, and that's what I'm going to chalk on this particular tag sign. P. Rabbit and Company at the top and Farms at the bottom in my favorite green, the pesto. And it, I think it's my favorite because it's just really rustic looking. And I love the way it turns out every time. Now I'm going to take my little beads and I'm going to use this gorgeous pink cloud chalk paint from Waverly. Now I'm only going to paint two of my beads in the pink cloud. One of them that's a little bit bigger in the pesto. And then the two smaller ones you can get from the Dollar Tree already painted the brown color that you're going to see then I'm going to put it together. But while I had my pink cloud out, I got to looking at the little rabbit and I thought, what can I do to bring it a, you know, bring a little bit of life to it and give it some character. And I seen them little ears and I thought that's a perfect spot to add a little bit of that pink cloud and just bring him to life a little bit. So I took a little tiny paintbrush and went in and I would just sort of defined his ears a little bit. I didn't get real crazy with it because I just wanted it to be a hint of color and not like, you know, enough color that's going to like take over or whatever. But after I got his little ears done, I colored, colored his little eyeballs the same color. And I want you to look at how cute that he turned out. But then I put my beaded hanger together. Like I said, I used the same twine that came on it. And I just threaded it all on the twine. And you know I always have to use a piece of tape because that stuff just frays and shreds and you can't get anything done. Then I end up getting mad. But anyway, look how pretty that hanger turned out. I'm just going to tie a knot in it and put a little loop at the top. And then I decided it needed something else. So I pulled out a third transfer that is our Easter minis for 2023. And I pulled out these little carrots, and I thought they were so cute. Now, the color that I'm using there is Sunset Drive for the carrots, and then Pesto for the little leafy part. And I want you to look at that Sunset Drive up against that pink cloud in his ears. 
it is so pretty together now it's definitely you can see it's two different shades of green um green lordy be of peach but they're very very pretty together then i'm going to take my antique wax and i'm going to distress around the edge now i'm not getting real crazy with the distressing on this one because i didn't want anything taken away from that beautiful rabbit but if you don't like distressing like i've said a million times before don't distress it use whatever colors you want to use that suits you and suits your style and matches your decor but once i added that little bit of antique wax all over i was done and i was so tickled at the way it turned out look at how cute this is now i don't know about you but these tag signs seem to be bigger to me than they were last year and they are more hardy like they're thicker than they were last year so let me know down in the comments if you feel like they are a lot better quality this year too i've said before that quarter made such a huge difference in the quality of what dollar tree's bringing in so i was a little butt hurt in the beginning because of that quarter but now that i see the changes that it brought i'm tickled about it because it's just made a world of difference in the quality of what they have but look at how cute my little peter rabbit turned out isn't he just precious now let's get into diy number two this thing is huge this is our chalk made hop to it kit now when you buy a chalk made kit it gives you every teeny tiny thing that you need to create a beautiful piece of decor in this case it's a beaded garland it comes with everything it comes with the directions i'm telling you step by step directions you can't mess this up if you wanted to as long as you can read you can do this i am going off a little bit of the colors and things that they give because two reasons number one it doesn't match my decor and number two i like to save my packets for giveaways and things it comes with three color trays a squeegee and this cute ribbon to put on your tassels now the goldish or yellowish looking one i'm not going to use because again it doesn't match my colors it gives you all of the beads and it gives you these cute little bunny slim cuts it even gives you the stinking twine like seriously they give you twine and plenty of it and then look at this pretty transfer you put your bunny on there you chalk one side you flip it and you chalk the other and i just think this was brilliant and i love that little transfer and you can use it on anything you don't have to have those slim cuts to use it you can actually use that transfer on literally anything so i'm using these colors they're called peachy keen which is the lighter color and the sunset drive that i used in the first diy and then the pink cloud which is again a peachy color and then i'm going to use my moss waverly chalk paint for some of the other beads but for right now i'm going to chalk on my little bunny slim cuts i'm going to fuzz them and then i'm going to pull out one of my little slim cuts and use the plaid design and i think this plaid design is so cute and i'm going to use my peachy keen color and i don't know what that was i just showed you there but it's not the peachy keen <laughs> but this is going to be the peachy keen color and it's real pretty it's a real pale peach but it is really pretty together with the sunset drive and the pink cloud colors so i'm going to chalk it on and let it dry now it looks here like i just chalked it on and then flipped it over immediately don't do that because you're going to be mad at me if you do because it's going to mess everything up i did let it dry and come back to it then i did the other side look how cute that print is i just love that plaid i love it now watch this it's as simple as putting a little bit of paste on your squeegee rubbing it onto your transfer rubbing off the excess and that's it that's all you do and then you pull it up to reveal something gorgeous every single time i never ever ever get tired of pulling back a transfer 
that is my sunset drive look at the two colors together especially with that real peachy pink cloud now this one has a sort of a floral design to it and it's so cute also one of the pieces of ribbon that they sent for the tassel has the same design the same floral design as this does now i did get my little transfer a little off centered on his back right there but you won't be able to see that in the end because i'm gonna flip him over and put the little pom-pom that they sent for the tail on the other side but if you don't know you missed it you wouldn't if i hadn't have told you you probably wouldn't even have known it just then but anyway i'm going to go ahead and pay, chalk paste the other side and look at this how cute is that I just love it. I just love Chalk Couture, period. Look at them together. They are so cute. Now, these are the little wooden eggs that they sent. And then they sent these huge, I want to say probably 30 millimeter, maybe. Because they're twice the size of the 20 millimeter ones. And they're just like a big chunky bead. So, I'm going to take the ones that there's like all of the smaller ones. I'm gonna take all of them and put it on two different skewers. As you notice, it filled up both skewers to the top. That, that had a lot, a lot of beads. Now I'm gonna take my antique wax, paint it on, but when I wipe it off, I'm only gonna wipe down the middle and I want you to look at the way those beads turned out by only wiping the middle and it, is sort of darker at the top darker at the bottom look at that it is beautiful and when it's all put together that particular look is going to just be what sets it off in my opinion and you'll see in just a minute what i'm talking about it is so beautiful so once i got those painted set them aside i took the bigger sort of 30 millimeter or whatever size they are they are big and i used my moss chalk paint on them and I just went in and colored them I think it only took like one coat of the moss chalk paint to cover these up and then once I got those painted I set them aside to dry and I know I didn't I used my heat gun that's right and then I took the pink cloud and I'm just showing you here what they look like with that pink cloud and then I painted my little Easter eggs now it did take two coats of paint because those eggs had sort of like I don't know it felt like a laminate maybe or something on it it is wood it is solid wood but it just had whatever they painted it with was um slick I guess is the best way to put it and it ended up taking two coats of that paint but it's all right because you know it was just it's therapeutic for me when I paint I love it but look at how pretty that color is I don't know why they called it pink cloud i don't know why they didn't say peach cloud but this is me just sort of laying everything out and seeing how i wanted to get it designed and i just love the way it turned out i want you to let me know down in the comments below how you like everything so far if you're still watching and you're still with me put a bunny down in the comment section so now i am going to twine twine it together <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I can't get this far without messing up. I'm going to thread it all together on my twine. <laughs> twine it together. Uh, anyway, and that's where it comes to life at. And then once I get that done, I'm going to add my cute little bunnies. Now, I hadn't put the pom-poms on for the tail yet, but I do do that in the end. I don't know if I showed... I don't think I showed that, actually, but I do... Take just a little dab of glue and just put it on the little tail. And it just makes it so cute. But once I get my bunnies tied on, I take my twine. And look at all of that twine, y'all. I had enough twine to make probably four tassels. So once I got my bunnies on, I take the twine and make my little tassels. Now when you're making your tassels, you can use basically anything you want to. I'm going to show you two different ways you can do it. 
For the first one, I'm going to use just my four fingers and I'm going to wrap my twine around my fingers. And then once I get them done, now I know it's going a little bit fast, but once I get it done, I'm going to take another little piece of twine and go through the top, tie it off like you see me doing there, cut across the bottom, and then I'm going to add my ribbon because I think it's going to tie a little bit better like that. But look at how, see that design in that ribbon right there? It's the same exact thing that was on that cute little rabbit or, you know, the transfer that I put on the rabbit. Once I get all this on there, I take another little piece of twine and make the little head for the top of my tassel. Now I'm just going to dovetail the ends of that ribbon and then I'm going to grab my twine and I'm just going to cut straight across the bottom to make it even. And then once I get that done, tie it on to the end of the garland and I want you to look at how precious that is together. I love this. Now I'm going to take one of those trays and I'm going to wrap it around the tray to make my garland. I mean my tassel. You can use a piece of cardboard. You can use anything really. Um, I've used a piece of scrap wood before to wrap it around. But you see how I ran that piece of twine through the top and tied it into a knot? That's how you start it. And then you cut the bottom and then you just put a little piece like I said, about a quarter of an inch down, tie it in a knot like you see me doing right there. And that's the, the whole, you know, idea of making a tassel, but you got to make sure that you go down to the bottom and sort of trim it and give it a little haircut and make it all even because that's what's going to make it look professional. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dovetail the ends of this tassel or, you know, the ribbon that's on the tassels and that part's going to be done. And once I get it tied on, I'll go back and add my little bunny tails. And like I said, I don't think I recorded that part. But once I put the little tails on, this was done. And I think it just turned out so beautiful. And I want you to look at those brown beads at how pretty they look with only wiping off the middle of that antique wax. Let me know several things down in the comments. What do you think about the whole thing? Y'all, this thing is over three foot long. It is huge. It's chunky. It is, look at that pom-pom tail. It's just beautiful. And I absolutely love it. It matches my style so perfectly. It's so rustic looking. And I just, I love it. Like I said, you can paint it any color you want to paint it. You can put any ribbon with it you want to put with it. This just happens to be what came in the kit. Now, let's get into DIY number three. I'm going to make this cute little carrot. Look at this carrot. It came from the Dollar Tree, and it's pretty big. It's a big size carrot. I want to say I did something with one of these carrots last year, but I don't remember 100%. But with this one... I'm going to take the antique wax and I'm going to brush it all over the front of that carrot. Now, when I wipe this carrot off, y'all, I want you to look at how gorgeous this paint job is and how beautiful that wood comes out under that antique wax. Watch this. It's crazy. You would think a $1.25 piece of wood would not be pretty, but look at how beautiful that is. I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to take that same antique wax and I'm going to go around the outside. What I was doing just then was showing you how pretty that wood was. And then I'm going to use my moss for the greenery part for the little stems and just give it a really good coat of moss chalk paint. But look at the wood, y'all. I can't keep I can't quit talking about that wood grain in that dollar 25 carrot. And it's a good size carrot. You can see if you haven't seen it in person yet how it how big it is up against my hand. And I think it's just adorable. But now I'm going to show you the actual whole transfer. On the left is the P Rabbit and Company Farms. It's so beautiful. And on the right is the one with the peonies that I was telling you about. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It says premium peony seeds and then it says something else at the bottom that I can't see but that it's like you get two in one 
and I'm going to use the left side, the same size I, side I used in DIY number one, and I'm going to chalk on almost the whole entire thing. Now, this because the carrot got skinnier at the bottom, I did not get to use the wording that was at the bottom. And, you know, after I got finished, I got to thinking I could have used those words and just stacked them one on top of another, but I did something different, and I'm glad I did because it made it match DIY number one and two better by doing that. But look, watch this. Y'all, that is so beautiful. Is that not pretty? Then I took my antique, not my antique, my Waverly white chalk paint, and I went around and I just, again, very lightly distressed around. Look how that greenery, that little green part right there just come to life with that little bit of distress. And that's why I love distressing because it makes everything rustic and farmhouse. And it just makes whatever you're doing pop, in my opinion. But once I got that done, I added the same exact hanger that came on it back to it. And I got to looking at it, and it needed something. So I used those same little carrots that I used in DIY number one. And that right there is the whole minis for the Easter. It's so cute. I wish I'd have slowed it down and showed you that whole thing. But this is why I was okay with not using the wording at the bottom. Because I used that same Sunset Drive and chalked on my little carrots and then the green stems with the pesto. And then it brought it all together with DIY number one and number two. Had I left the carrots off, it would have matched, but it wouldn't have matched as well as it did by adding those little carrots to the bottom. So let me know what you think about this DIY number three. Always, always, always wash your transfers immediately after using them, and they'll last you for a long, long time. But look at how pretty this turned out, y'all. I can't quit looking at the wood grain in that little cheap piece of wood. I love it. 100% organic. It's just so pretty. Let me know which one was your favorite of these three DIYs down in the comments below. I think it's got to be the beaded garland. Now, y'all know I use chalk couture all the time and there is always a link listed in the bottom of my description box with every single video whether I use chalk couture or not and I never really push selling my chalk couture but this time I'm telling you you really need to buy that big huge transfer well all three of the transfers I use today but that chalk made kit look at that thing it is a massive y'all it is, like I said, it's over three foot long. It's big. It's chunky. It's just so beautiful. I just love it. And I highly recommend that you get one of these. Look at how cute that tail is on that bunny, y'all. Aren't they precious? Oh, I just love it. Anyway, which one was your favorite? Was it DIY number one, the tag sign? This cute rabbit, um, not rabbit, carrot sign. Well, it does have a rabbit on it, don't it? <laughs> this cute carrot sign or that beaded garland. Like I said, mine's definitely the beaded garland, but I love the whole thing. I love the way it all turned out. Now, if you are new to Moner's Market, my name is Brenda, but my precious grandbabies call me Moner. Moner is my grandma name. And I was proud to name Moner's Market after my grandbabies. If you're also new, we do a premiere with nearly every video. And we have a live chat that goes on. And we love getting to know each other in that live chat. So if you haven't joined us in the live chat, join us. Because you'll have a good time in there. And to my live chatters, hey y'all, you know I love you. And I've enjoyed talking to you tonight. My videos are generally always Tuesdays at 8. And as I always end my video saying, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.